Hey y'all, how's it going tonight? Well, afternoon, morning, I don't know. I don't know where you live. But anyways, for me it's tonight. But this is gonna air Saturday morning and I don't know if that's gonna confuse you or not, but does it matter? No. So, I had an owie this week. That's a grinder accident, went into the thumb. So I thought, okay, what can I do that's small, still interesting? Maybe it's not. I don't know. But it's a it's a generator. Not as big as the last one. It's a five horsepower generator. So that's what we're going to be scrapping. Anyways, I've been meaning to show you guys something for a while. A buddy of mine was driving through Utah. And he stopped by this little town. And he seen something, he thought, Dan's gonna like that. And the little town was called Beaver. Yeah, Beaver. And this is what he got me, a change purse that says, I love Beaver. And you know what? I've never visited a place, but I'm sure I would love Beaver. You know, I'm Canadian. Beavers our entire lives here. You know, I grew up on beaver. So, saying that, let's get down to the business at hand. And that's scrapping and not scrapping beaver. So what we got here is a five horsepower Briggs and Stratton variety of an old, old generator. That's pretty cool. Right, I know the old Briggs and Stratton, they, they'd live forever, but not once they get to nice junk square shop. So there's, it is, it's a co-ring uh, compaction and general equipment group, Mississauga, Ontario, good old Canadian thing. And uh, she's a 2000 watt, uh, 120 volt can't read that I can't read that model blah 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 so anyways you know just your standard four household plugins and nothing else so I think it needs to be scrapped so the thing about these little generators um, and small engines in general. They take too much time to clean the small engines. You know, to get five or maybe five or six pounds of aluminum, it's going to take you half a day to clean those up. So, on a generator like this, I don't clean motors. Sorry, I don't do it. Maybe someone else will, I don't. What I'm after is there, right there, that the generator part. That's what's going to be your money. That's where your copper is. I'm all about the copper. The aluminum, if I get it, that's just a, a little bit of a tip. But I like copper motors. And almost all generators have a copper motor. So that's what we're going to be after and uh, so I'll show you what I take off. You might want to take off the hand pull thing and sell it on Evil Bay for three bucks. I'm not that guy. I'm not pulling the head off. I'm not pulling the carburetor off. Carburetors like for a brand new carburetor for a small engine is like $16. Why would I bother? This thing is obviously worth all its life. It's not worth rebuilding. It's just, pff, let's get her done. Okay. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off these four bolts. There's two flat-headed screws. 
that hold that plug in. And that nut driver. For this little cover, I don't know if you have to take this off. I'm going to. Of course, nut driver and a screw. Ooh. Piece of shred. Let's see. Some more flathead screws. Gotta love those. Maybe the one in the middle has to go too. Oh, it looks like it's brushes. Some brushes. So anyways, we were talking about beaver. I love beaver. And if anybody's watching this video and is from Beaver, Utah, I want you to email me your address and I will send you some nice junk stickers. So Beaver, Utah. Not Provo, Beaver. Or if you can prove that you've ever lived in Beaver, I would send you some nice junk stickers. See, that's what I'm willing to do for Beaver. Oh, I think there's something else holding this in. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's a half inch. <laughs> wow, look at that bolt. Look at this. There's looks like there's a, a fuse. Go. Oh. And she's a burnt out fuse. Bet you that's why they sent it to the scrapyard. Burnt out fuse. So I am going to try gently tapping this off. Like I said, gently tapping this off. Hate stink bugs. What is that? <laughs> so I'm thinking we need to find out if this thing's copper. And she sure is. She's a copper. Oh, and it's got a nice armature in it too. <gasps> yeah. Things are going to get silly here. Anyways, let me find a pair of snips. We'll just cut this off and deal with this later. To me, right now, this is insignificant. Look at that. That looks like... Ooh, that looks like some brass right there. Man, I love generators. So, this appears to be a 3 16 uh, Allen key bit. So we're gonna try uncranking it by hand, which is working. I just jammed a screwdriver in the motor, keep it from turning. Okay, one more to do down here. I don't know. Maybe I don't even have to do that. I don't know. I probably do. They don't usually put screws just for <coughs> giggles. Okay. Wonder if I can just try this. Bit of 
persuasion. So, this is going to go in dirty brass. That's embedded in plastic and resin. Well, maybe I can smash it out. I don't know. We'll see. But really, that should go in dirty brass. So, yeah, we're just going to pry this out slowly, evenly, consistently, and it should come out. So with the screwdriver wedged in here, locking that armature, just going to take off these little containers. Screwdriver, or I mean pry bar. Flying at your head. it to fly at my head and it wouldn't so so we're just going to give this a nice little whack on the nose Let's, there's that tapered shaft and this is ready to process so as far as i'm concerned now this unit here it's just shred um, I know you guys are saying, hey, you can get aluminum breakage for that. Not me. My yard won't give me anything for aluminum breakage, so I just throw it all in as shred. So we're just going to cut the end of the, these coils with the, uh, with Miss Bertha here. So after five months of this vice being on the bench and flipping over every time I use it, because I'm too lazy to bolt it down, I decided, hey, I can just clamp her down. That might just work perfectly. So with me being lazy, like I just stated, I'm going to try to pull these coils out without putting it through the uh, hydraulic press. Because I did pull off those tabs off the side. I'm thinking that might work. If not, then we'll have to go to plan B.
Mm. <coughs> I got one more thing I can do before we go to the hydraulic press. And that's going to be flip this bugger upside down. Just one. Wow. Now we got a nice chunk of prepared. Now it's time to do the same thing to the stator with Bertha. So, before we finish this up, still got that stator to pull the, the copper out of. Contest announcement. That's right. I said I'd never do another contest, but hey, you know, I've been known to lie before. Matter of fact, the only thing that doesn't really lie is children, drunk people, and yoga pants. Anyways, um, so the contest announcement might take a while, might be next week. It's up to you guys. Um, I hit 5,000. I'm going to do a contest that gives away 500 bucks, 500 bucks. And also what you get is a trip to Beaver, Utah. That's right. And I'm going to be there with you because I want to pay for your, your suppers and your breakfast and your lunch. 500 bucks. That's your gas money to get there or however you want to go. If you want to fly, you want to train, you want to drive, you want to walk. I don't care. Take a boat. Doesn't matter. Anyways, 500 bucks for you to get there. And I'm going to show up Friday night. So if you want to show up Friday night, you can. And, you know, we'll hang around all day Saturday. Another night in the hotel. And then Sunday morning, we'll have breakfast. And it's time for you to go home. But, yeah. So if you want in on Beaver, 
and you want to share the excitement of Beaver with me, Nice Junk, or Dan, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Get those subscribers up to 5,000, and we're, we're going to enjoy some Beaver. Make sure you like, you share, you put it on the on the face page and put it on your your Instagram and your uh, your TikToks and you know your Discords all over the place. Just share this video, share this video, make it blow up, get people to subscribe, get those people to do the same thing. That's the idea. And as soon as we reach 5,000, we'll put out another video saying, hey, leave a comment. We will get the automatic comment picker to, to choose. And you and a friend are going to go. So now back to the stator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this perfectly good extension three-eighths extension because it fits in the hole pretty good i don't suggest you do that if you actually like your extension but you can pick these up pretty cheap at the hobo freight um you know princess auto they're not that expensive and you know what if i have to replace it i replace it i don't care um and depending on how fast you want to go you can either use three pound or a 16 ounce i kind of like the three pound because oops that's not good oh, that's probably too thick well maybe we'll just get it started with this you know get them moving then once you get everything moving, you can use something smaller. Yeah, they're really moving now. We're shaking this thing up, baby. Mm -hmm. See how fast that thing is going now? All the way around. You get the hint what we're doing here? Ooh, I think it's coming out. Yeah, she's she's ready to come out. So where's my big screwdriver? go all out and even the little plastic thing he stayed behind that never happens so you gotta turn around and you gotta cut these little strings off my scrapyard does anyways and all these insulated leads ah so for some of you that don't know that is a scale we're gonna put this bucket on here. We're gonna tear it out by hitting zero, zero. Oops, why? Zero, zero. Oh my God. There we go, we teared it out to zero, zero. Now we'll pour the copper in. And the weight of that is seven pounds, 8.9 ounces. Well, I'm gonna call it 7.9 ounces. 
right? 7.8988, whatever. 0.9, I probably lost some. So 7.88 is what it finally decided. So I guess that's this episode of Nice Junk. Don't forget about the beaver giveaway. Um, so you know the rules. Just skip back, I don't know, 3, 14 minutes, 6 hours, I don't know. But, you know, it's over there. And uh, maybe I'll even put a chapter in the thing so you can just, like, click to it and see what the contest rules are. Well, there, I didn't really say contest rules, but whatever. But anyways, don't forget, I love beaver. And that was some nice junk. See you all next week.